Welcome back. It's 19 before 10 on a Thursday evening. You're watching Newsnight here on ENCA Channel 403. More buffering and network lags can be expected as repairs to broken fiber optic cables continue. In fact, earlier this month, two undersea communication cables critical to network operators in South Africa snapped on the same day. Now, the cables in the Congo Canyon reportedly broke because of a rockfall. In recent months, tech giants have landed subsea cables on South African shores that run along the west coast of the continent. Joining me via Zoom is the Chief Digital Officer at CECOM, Pranesh Pariachi. He will shed light on this incident and talk more about internet connectivity here in Africa. Pranesh, good evening, and thank you so much for making the time. The last time this happened, um, if my memory serves me correctly, it was in January 2020, and we were experiencing, those of us that use the internet more profusely, a, a, a lag and a slow internet connectivity for at least a month. Um, is that what's coming with this? Good evening, and thanks for having me on your show. That's exactly what's uh, coming on the, in the forthcoming months. So the cables that have been cut, it's actually three cables that have been cut. So on the west coast of Africa, from South Africa going through to Europe, we have four cables, and of those, three of them have been uh, cut. We're fortunate that the latest cable that landed on our west coast shores hasn't been cut, and that's the newest cable that we have. And if you were to paint a broader picture for us, uh, Prinesh, this evening, I mean, how, how critical is the turnaround time in fixing this problem when we get there? Yeah, this is vitally important to us, but we have to bear in mind as well. So for cable ships, these aren't um, readily available. The current cable ship that serves cable repairs for Southern Africa, both the East and the West Coast, is currently busy on a repair over at the Kenyan coast. So it will take some time for that vessel to come back to Cape Town, load spares for this repair, and then go up to the Congo Canyon to get this repair done. So we're probably looking at between four to six, and depending on marine conditions, could take up to eight weeks for this cable to get repaired or for all three cables to get uh, repaired. And I imagine, Pranesh, this would affect the economy in some way. Are you able to paint a picture for us this evening? Well, I suppose most Internet users in South Africa are seeing this now slower Internet um, connectivity and the... We're going to try and re-establish our connection with Pranesh because my next question would have been, um, what are the alternatives? Because slow internet uh, and buffering speeds are not a thing that we want to be dealing with um, in South Africa. Prinesh, if you are back, um, I need to ask you this. I mean, are there al other alternatives uh, to when we get to this bridge and we are crossing it in as far as our connectivity is concerned? Yeah, definitely. Lots of, um, well, not lots of alternatives, I suppose, but you do have alternatives. So if you take what we as CECOM do, we have cables both on the east and west coast of Africa, and that's primarily to mitigate instances like uh, this. We go further than that as well. We use different equipment on both of these uh, coasts, which then allows us, so if you look at the CECOM network itself, our network pretty much runs the way it used to do prior to the cable cut. We've been working with a number of uh, service providers in South Africa to get them reconnected back to connectivity in uh, in Europe. So vitally important that we uh, we keep these up and running, have redundancy on both uh, both coasts, and uh, mitigate specifically when it comes to timelines to get these cables uh, repaired, which you'll find. And in this scenario that we have today, where the vessel is busy on another repair exercise would take quite some time for it to get uh, repaired. And it affects a number of things, especially in the South African economy. If you start to look at things like digital trading and the likes, slower internet speeds drastically affect uh, those positions on, on markets, the ability for people to trade as quickly as they did previously. Those are affected. People to communicate, you'll see lots of buffering on uh, downloads of videos and things like that. 
So also various sectors of the economy affected by this, be it from a consumer perspective as well as uh, uh, business across South Africa. And Pranesh, before I let you go this evening, is there anything that the user uh, can do um, ahead of this um, uh, planned uh, maintenance, so to speak? I suppose there are a couple of things you can do as an end user or as a corporate user. You could uh, partner with service providers that do still have uh, connectivity and lots of connectivity at, uh, at that um, querying with your current service provider who they use as underlying service providers. That would become an important uh, area as well. And you'll find that as these activities, um, repair activities continue, what will happen over, over time, especially in the early days of the connectivity repair, while testing happens on the cable system and things like that, you may still experience a little bit of uh, instability on in your internet uh, connection. And I suppose we're in for a tough four to six weeks while repair, well, the ship comes back and gets, uh, gets repair underway. But as I said previously, partnering with organizations that have cables on, on both coasts helps mitigate that. Um, and monitoring quite carefully as well what happens over the next uh, while. Because if we do have um, uh, terrible sea conditions at the repair site, you will find that this repair operation will take much longer than, uh, than expected. But in most of these, you'll find that the consortiums that deal with these cables, they tend to work quite closely together. They fully understand the impact of the economy on the countries that are affected. So there'll be close collaboration with all the subsea uh, parties to get this repair operation done as quickly as possible and uh, in the most sort of cost-effective uh, time frame. Pranesh, thank you so much for your time this evening. That was Pranesh Pariyachi from cable operator Seacom uh, telling you not to worry too much about the pending uh, buffering and lagging internet as a result of the maintenance that needs to happen uh, in all the under the sea cables that provide us with all the Wi-Fi and current uh, LTE uh, networks that we are using as end users. Let's move